Hi, welcome to another episode of Great Nate's Greats featuring Dave Tigerman Smith. I'm Miles. Tigerman. I am Dave Tigerman Smith. Nate the Great. Okay. We are now going to be reviewing the event held by Fat Collectibles for the premiere of Gardens of the Galaxy. It was a great event. Um, we're going to do an old school, new school review. We're going to give the classic Geek Week perspective from, from Dave and I, as well as the new school perspective from Miles here. So, um, the event started off at Fat Collectibles with a uh, signing with Sam Humphreys, who is the writer from uh, Legendary Star Lord number one. From there, the event moved to the Ultra Lux Theater in Anaheim. Um, and this is, if you guys haven't been there, they have the great events there held in the VIP room, um, table service. Although there wasn't at this one because the event got so big that it moved to the big theater. But usually, when the events stay on a smaller scale, they've got, you know, um, in theater service, bring the beers right to you. It's always a great time, and this was a great time as well. Unfortunately, Miles couldn't have a beer today, but uh, maybe tomorrow. Hey. Maybe tomorrow. You going to have that beer tomorrow, bud? I'm not going to drink all of it. Okay. Maybe a little tiny cup. A little tiny cup? All right. Sounds cool. Um, when we got to the event at the theater, um, they had this line of anxious people waiting to get a uh, free legendary Star Lord number one that I showed you earlier, signed by uh, Sam Humphreys. And for those of you not familiar with Sam Humphreys, he is a great author. He has worked on books Avengers AI, Uncanny X Force, The Legendary Star Lord. And he's going to be also working on some of the offshoots of The Death of Wolverine coming up. I saw that in the previous magazine. So, um, great guy. And uh, it was a great time. And um, for the first, how many people got the free comic? I believe 200. 200 of the free. But I believe we ended up giving them to everyone. I think it's. I think he went to uh, Jason, the owner of Fat Collectibles, went to other stores and procured extra books so that everybody could have one, not just the first 200. So once again, an example of those guys going above and beyond to give just to deliver on a, on a great time for everybody. Um, the line to see uh, Sam went very, very quickly, uh, pretty smoothly, and uh, he was great. He signed all of my, um, he signed both of our Star-Lord books. Miles got his first autograph. Now, from a kid's point of view, how was it meeting Sam Humphreys, Miles? Really, really good and fantastic and awesome! What made it so good and awesome and fantastic? Um, seeing him and getting his autograph and I think that's it. Did we take a cool picture? Yes! How was the picture? Can't be serious. Did you, how was your pose? Did you do a Karate Kid pose? Wow. Yeah, that's cool. He did. We got a, a good picture with him, did the Karate Kid pose. And he also signed my picture from the last event that we had that I saw him at. So that was cool. I like to nerd out and get these pictures signed. Um, I've got a bunch from a different, a lot of different artists and, um, and writers that I've met. So then they had the raffle. They gave out more than 20 prizes. They had posters. Pop figures, a blind box, a actual figure, which was pretty cool. Definitely. It was a double figure, wasn't it? It was a Drax the Destroyer figure, which is pretty cool. You know, retail at twenty four ninety nine. There you go. Can't go wrong with that, right? Quarter of a hundred. Yeah. Um, from there we got to go into the movies, and when they had them, and once we got into the movies, there was um, what was the name of the uh, web show? I don't remember them either. I've never heard. Four of them. color commentaries. Was it four color commentaries? Mm -hmm. I remember Chewy because when he introduced himself as Chewy, somebody said Rrr! in the audience. That was a little bit of a chuckle beforehand. But they had a great Q and A with uh, with Sam, talking about his roots in the industry, um, how we got into writing, 
you know, favorite his favorite books and what he likes to recommend. And, um, you know, leading up to it, it was just a great setup. Set up for a great movie. So, come, come on, dude. That's it. What did you think of the movie? Did you like the movie? Yes. Did you think it was action-packed and fun? Mm -hmm. Do I have to feed your words? Yes, what was your favorite I, part, Miles? Uh, when he was like dancing and then all of a sudden he had like the power of like so hold like this thing that would kill you forever and tear you to pieces and he it was able to like hold it for longer and like had the power of it and able to destroy like someone that he was supposed to like kill. Well, you guys don't have to worry about uh, spoiler alerts because no one could really understand that. <laughs> the seven-year-old spoiler alert. We're going to have Miles deliver all of our spoilers from now on. Did you like... How about the dancing part? Yeah, it was like already did because he saved someone's lives and then he... <laughs> keep going, keep going. And, um... Rocket Raccoon was like crying and so he had to get like one of his, his um, group sticks and put it in the pot and then put dirt and then right at the end um, he was dancing and then the, um, one, the one that he saved was sharpening his life and then he looked at, um, at us on the big screen and then he was like this, froze and, and then he kept on doing it again, and then he was doing all the cool stuff and dancing. That was my yeah. favorite part, too. Yeah, nothing like the classic Marvel cutscenes. Um, yeah, they had, um, I will say that usually at the end of these movies, there's a little bit of a lead-in to the next movie. I don't know that Howard the Duck, spoiler alert, is going to um, be the next Marvel f featured franchise? I hope so. I'm actually more excited to see Howard the Duck than Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. I think that there's a little bit of a tie in there. I actually dropped the ball on that. I think that Howard the Duck's personality is actually going to be inside of Ultron. And that's where they were going with that. I don't know about that one. That That's kind of a stretch. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a stretch. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Um, so we got the new school review. What if Howard the Duck is Ultron? Ultron the Howard Duck? Ultron the Duck. Howard the Ultron. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Now that's that's our theory. <laughs> Kinda. Alright, alright. Fun, fun aside, actually, no, we're probably going to still be funny. Yeah. But uh, the movie, a uh, great soundtrack. I like how they were able to implement the, the backstory behind the soundtrack in there. Um... I think Hooked on the Feeling is going to get, it's, it's going to move up the charts again. For me, I, I think they kind of use the, the soundtrack a little bit too much as a crutch. You think so? I think so. I, I think, I, I don't know, I liked it. I, I didn't think it was overboard. But I, I, liked it. I liked it, it was good. I just wish they didn't use it as much as a crutch for the story as they did. Okay. To me, it felt like just... Something to stick in there to add to the story, which could have been a lot of different other things. This is true. What did, you, did you like the music, Miles? Yeah. What was your favorite song? Um, the one where he was like in jail and um, there was like a third guy like listening to it, I think. And uh, <laughs> oh, when the the guard had his. Walkman in the jail, and he went to go get his radio back? Yeah. Okay. I don't remember what song that was. Do you remember what song that was, Dave? It was like the... They were all classics. Um, you know? I liked all And they, 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 I, they did use it. It was... I, I wouldn't say it was a crutch. Well, maybe. You could say it's a crutch, but... It, it seemed like whenever the music would come on, it would be appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was good. I mean, I'm not dissing it. I'm just... Wishing it wasn't such a crutch. Um, humor. There was. They had some good humor in the movie. I. Uh, yes. 
there was there was stuff for kids to appreciate, and then there was the um, the sardan sardonic, sarcastic stuff that only adults would appreciate. And I think they had a good mix of it. Um, you know, it, it is. Uh, there was lots of points in the movie where people were laughing so much that we would miss some of the dialogue, yes. you know, based on that. And it seemed like the people were kind of primed to laugh. You know, there was, because serving alcohol at the theater, I'm sure that helped the, uh, the, the overall mood, the mood. Yeah, the overall um, mood and loosen people up a little bit. But um, all in all, I mean, it's another pillar to the Marvel Universe that's being developed. Um, you know, I think that my movie of the summer would be Captain America 2. Loved it. Followed closely by uh, Days of Future Past. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Followed closely by Day Days of Future Past. And this would be a very close third to it. Um, sit on your butt. Okay. Sorry, i got to keep the young boy in line. It's part of the new school. He's seven, so he's kind of hyper, and it's past midnight now. So we're keeping him up to give you that new school perspective. And then he's outside sleeping in the yard. <laughs> He'll be hooked on a feeling. <laughs> okay, um, pulling it back in. Uh, great action. Um, it, it, they had a good mix of... A lot of the newer movies that you're seeing coming out have a lot of CGI as a crutch. And um, I think that the, uh, that, the, that the five Guardians themselves, they did a, you, it didn't seem like people were talking to a puppet when they were interacting with Rocket. I wouldn't even know it was really CGI until at the credits we see the long list of, oh, yeah. of CGI people. You almost don't even notice it. You you actually think it's a raccoon up there. It, you know, it's crazy. And I think after, um, you know, the Star Wars prequels relied so heavily on the green screen. I think <sighs> just based <laughs> based on watching this, there's they, they they had to have a good mixture of CGI and sets because just the the reality of. What the actors, either that or these guys deserve, you know, awards for their acting because it was great. It was it was great. It just didn't it didn't seem plastic. It didn't seem fake, and it really could have. It could have easily seemed that way. But it felt real. Real. Yeah. Good times. So, who was your favorite character? Get back up. Who's your favorite uh, character? The Star Lord. The Star Lord. The Sky Lord and the Star Lord. Star Lord. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't uh, go for Rocket or Groot. Okay, Rocket, Sky, Star Lord, and Groot. Okay. What about Drax? What about Drax? I think Drax was the uh, he, he was the funniest thing going on in there. He was pretty cool. He was pretty cool. His um lack of understanding sarcasm. Like when they said, oh, I think it went over his head. There's nothing above my head. Yeah. You know, that was just... Yeah. Nothing goes over my head. I have strong reflexes. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Touche, Tiger Man. But um, all in all, you know, it's uh, you know another strong tentpole in the Marvel Universe. And um, I can't help but be excited about, you know, yeah. everything else yeah. coming up. It was a good movie. Good movie and a great event. And, um, you know, thanks to Fat Collectibles <laughs> for Sam. Um, and there was lots of industry people just visiting there. Yeah, I mean, who else? Yeah. I, I saw Marat Michaels there. He was sitting right in front of us. Yeah. Um, did you, who? Mike Vasquez. Mike Vasquez. Um, and there was other people that were kind of hiding in the shadows. So we don't want to do, we don't want to put them on blast here. Um, but all in all, I would say four and a half out of five. I'd probably give the same. What do you think, Miles, out of five? How many stars would you give? About out of ten hundred out of twenty hundred. So you would only give it fifty percent? His strong point isn't math. <laughs> <laughs> I don't.
But hey, it's still ten hundred, right? We yeah. only gave it a four and a half, and he gave it a ten hundred. Yeah, so I mean, there you go. Marvel, you're doing something right. All right, all right. So, um, in celebration of this great movie, um, and trying to keep in theme with what's going on, we're going to be giving away um, two books today for people who participate in our giveaway. Um, you have to. Like, subscribe, and comment. And hopefully share. You know, if you if you like, subscribe, comment, and share. If you let's see, like, subscribe, comment, we'll put one ticket in the box for you. Share it as well. We'll put two tickets. And we'll do a drawing uh, seven days from today. And um, whoever wins, just let us know. We'll, we'll actually have a, in one of our review shows the winner of the yeah. raffle for today. The prizes are going to be... Uh, Thanos Rising blank cover as well and uh, number one as well as Guardians of the Guardians of the Galaxy blank cover number one as a side raffle we're gonna have Miles come to your house and do uh, dishes no that's not true <laughs> if you have animals he's great at cleaning animal poop yeah oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what are you going to do? What kind of special jobs are you going to do? Yeah. Go play the video games? Yes. Alright, well if you need somebody to come and play your video games... Like on a hard level that you, it's impossible to defeat. Yeah, he can use his seven-year-old skills. He conquered his first video game at the age of three. I believe it was Lego Star Wars. Beat it from start to finish. So... Oops. Feel free to uh, like... like Subscribe. subscribe and comment and share and share for a chance to win our great movie or our great uh, and if you sketch don't covers here. Know where the comments is, it's down below. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Nate the Great and I'm Miles the Bear and I'm Dave Tiger Man Smith. Thanks for watching, and we're looking forward to seeing some feedback. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys.